We're going to make a stink bug trap. And it's one of those things that if they ever infest a building or your attic or your house or whatever, it's really hard to get rid of them. And they come back every year. And so I've had a little problem in one of my shops. And, you know, it's just annoying. They're buzzing around. And then if you start to step on them, they start to stink. I saw this from a friend of mine, and I thought I'd pass this along. The stink bugs I have are attracted to these fluorescent lights. And so we need to find something to attract them to light but yet to trap them. And of course they've been buzzing around like crazy here lately but of course it's had a little cold spell and I haven't seen any all day today but that figures. But we're going to go ahead and put the trap together and see what we come up with for tomorrow. First thing you'll need is a two liter bottle. You'll need some electrical tape, a little bit of masking tape, and then a couple of the push button lights. I picked up these lights for five dollars and sixty cent a piece and they carry three AAA batteries. Just push it on turn it off. First thing I'm going to do is cut this about a third. Making it as even as you can. It's not an exact science. Obviously. <laughs> this one still had a little water in it from when I rinsed it out. I'm just going to dry it out. Not that it's going to make a difference. You want to put black tape around the bottom and uh, what this does, it shields the light out so it keeps the bugs from hanging around the outside of the, the bottle. Okay, now that I've got that completed, I'm going to go ahead and put my light in. You don't have to activate it to turn it on. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Now we're going to place our other piece, giving it a little bit of room right there. And then we're going to tape it. Just around the seam. Now you can see that I have a hole that goes down. It's like a funnel. The light's in the bottom. Now we want to put some this masking tape on the side. And this gives the bug something to crawl on. I think with this plastic it's going to be kind of slippery. They can obviously fly into this as well. But they like to crawl around. I've made this a thinner piece. Split it in half, do the same. Now here we have our trap complete. Just take some kind of long object. I'm taking a regular pin. I'm going to go through the top hole and just push down. Now I have the light on. Here we have it ready to go. Unplug the light. Now we're ready for stink bugs. The whole premise is the bugs will crawl in, go down toward the light, fall through the hole, and then they won't be able to get back out. They're going to crawl up the side and it's just going to make it very difficult. I think if I was to do it over again, I might go up to about a, just cut off the top fourth because it did reach down pretty far. But I still think they're going to have a real hard time crawling up that slick surface on the plastic. And I guess we'll find out. Okay, here we have the trap. It's been up for a couple of days. Okay, here you can see those little guys working their way around the interior. There's a, quite a few of them in there. There's a lot down in the bottom too. I, there's probably about 10 that I've counted. And they just can't come, they can't figure it out to come out that little hole. So this just really works. I think if you went with clear, it would actually even work better. If you've got a stink bug problem, I think this is the answer. And really for about, probably about six bucks total. Five bucks for the uh, light. And then whatever tape you use, probably not even that much. But it's well worth it. Just alternative ways to get rid of pests, low cost, do it yourself. But really, as far as a survival situation, you start smashing these things, you'll think you're going to die. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. This is one place you don't want to stay, the Stink Bug Hotel. They check in, but they don't check out. Wow, I hate these stupid things. You smash a couple of those things, it'll make you sick after a while. Ugh. Plug out the lights. 
Now we're ready for stink bugs.